Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and these are my first impressions of Mass Effect Andromeda after about 10 hours or so of gameplay, and we are, as you may notice, hiding in a shower because I don't want there to be any spoilers, so you might want to think of this more as a podcast kind of thing where you can just look away, do something else, and listen. There will be no cuts to other things. I really mean it when I say I don't want to have spoilers in this. So we're just going to talk and be here hiding in the shower. So right out of the gate, I'll tell you, I think Mass Effect Andromeda is amazing. But before we get into why I think it's amazing, let's talk about the things that are really not so great. First off is the facial animation that's especially regarding expressions in conversation. It's not very good. Now, I'm not entirely sure why this is, and I know there may be much speculation, but I will tell you how it appears to me. When you are an actor, if you work on stage, like on Broadway or a stage with like a thousand or two thousand seats, you have to have very big expressions because the audience is not close to you. So the makeup and your expressions are all made to enhance this bigness of the facial animation of the actor, right? The expressions so that the audience can see it. If you work in film or television, the camera can get much closer. So the facial expressions are more intimate, more what we are used to when we deal with someone on a day-to-day -day basis. And Mass Effect Andromeda in some way feels to me like the facial animations were directed for stage, not film. Now, I don't know that that's true. That's just my way of presenting it. But that's what the problem seems to be. The expressions are a bit over the top to say the least. Sometimes flat out inappropriate, but mostly they're just over the top. So let's set that to the side. That is not a deal breaker for me. It's just something that you notice and go, mm, well, you know, that is not what I expect out of someone, but I'm going to let it slide. Next up, I would say the biggest problem I have is with interpersonal dialogue. So when you go to talk to someone about something other than go, you know, complete this objective for me, when you try and learn who they are or what makes them tick or just generally more about them, it doesn't come off as very human, even when it is actually humans. The aliens in some cases come off as much more human than some of the humans. It's almost as if some of the humans either fell off their drugs that day or discovered entirely new ones, and they say things that no one would say. And I don't mean just, you know, no normal individual. I'm not entirely sure people who were not sane would say some of these things. It, it just strikes you very hard when you run into them. You'll be talking to someone and they just say words that have no reference to anything. They have no connection to your conversation. They're just kind of there and you don't really know why. It bugs me. It doesn't make me super happy. But again, it's not the majority of what you're dealing with. It's more of things can be going at least sort of decently not great but they're okay and then all of a sudden this giant red flag pops up in the conversation and you're like where did that come from but then you move on and in some cases you just really don't ever want to talk to that person very much and in other cases you're like well we will try again later and see if they're feeling any better so the best i can say is that the interpersonal dialogue is wonky and that's that's not so great either so we've got the facial animations we've got the interpersonal dialogue and coming in not quite on the same degree but as also kind of a dark spot is the actual ui the interface especially as regards to your inventory and your selection of skills 
uh, it's, it's, again, wonky is the best term for it. It's not very fluid, and it doesn't always seem to, you know, accept your commands. Like, you'll select something, and it will just kind of ignore you. Or you'll select something, and you'll get something else instead, because, hey, you know what? Randomness adds spice to life. I can't say why it does what it does, but it seems to me that of the three things, it's probably the easiest to fix. Not the overall general wonkiness of the UI, but at least the times when it doesn't do what you actually think it should do. It's kind of an exploration of its own. Once you get into it and use it, it comes a little more familiarly, familiarly if not naturally. In other words, you'll get used to it. And uh, it's not, again, it's nowhere near a deal breaker. It's just one of those things where you're like, eh, <sighs> it's wonky. Okay, so those are my three problems. But you know what? They're not even speed bumps in my enjoyment of Mass Effect Andromeda. I love this game. So far in this first 10 hours... Yeah, those three problems have been problems, but if you look beyond that, the game is glorious. I mean, it is so far beyond what I expected. In some ways, it is a combination of all the three previous games with a lot of throwbacks to Mass Effect 1, which I absolutely adored. Uh, you can actually get things in the field. There's There's loot, and that's kind of awesome. I love loot in RPGs. It makes me want to go around and look for things there is exploration there is so much exploration and so much reason for exploration you may notice if you're actually watching us in our shower moment here that i pull up this thing this uh omni tool well it has a scan feature and you can go out into the world and use it to scan things when you scan certain things you will get information depending on whether it's something that came with us from the milky way or something from uh, two other subsections of this Andromeda galaxy, you will gain information in one of those three categories. And then you can use that information almost like a resource to fund uh, research. And then once you've researched something, you can put it into development. So you can research something new and then you can craft it for your own use. And it is really pretty cool. Um, it gives you a great incentive for going out and scanning things. You're doing other things than just, you know, shooting. And that's actually pretty cool. You know, that's very sci-fi to go out and want to learn about, you know, new life and new civilizations to boldly go and all of that. And Mass Effect has that. Mass Effect Andromeda really has that to boldly go and, you know, to seek out new life and new civilizations. It is... It has been amazing for that, and I, I did not expect it to be quite that amazing. I have had fun with the combat as well. I've been engaged in battles over such a vast area that I've been killed and not even known why I was killed. And it's not easy to kill me in a shooter, so when you can do it, and I don't think that somehow the AI has engaged in some hanky-panky, You've got a good game going there, and Mass Effect Andromeda has killed me on the up and up on the level, and that is awesome. It means it's something that I can get better at, it's something more I can learn, something more I can achieve, and I really dig that. Um, and when I say long range, I mean some seriously long range. Uh, the vehicles are fun to me, and let's see what else. I have dabbled a bit in the multiplayer. I loved Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. It was a kind of a co-op thing, but I enjoyed playing it with maybe one or two friends or even solo because I really liked the challenge of it. And I tried going solo in Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer and I was lucky to last about a minute and 44 seconds. So again, you might think that discourages me, but it actually makes me grin from ear to ear because it means it's a challenge and I enjoy that challenge. Let's see, I've covered combat, I've covered exploration. Of course, there is an aspect of setting up new 
colonies in this new galaxy and that although i have not explored too deeply into that that does seem very cool to me as well so all in all i get a very good sci-fi vibe out of this i feel like i am exploring entirely new worlds and civilizations and i am having an amazingly good time so much so that i really want to get out of the shower and back into the game proper so i think i will bring my first impressions here to a close if you have any questions please please feel free to ask in the comments and i will do my best to answer otherwise i would like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner you will see a small letter i with a white circle around it these are cards and links to other videos that i've made also i have a twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page if you're on mobile it'll be on my channel about page I would like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome, and you make this an absolute joy to do, and I really want to thank you for that. I'd also like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video informative and maybe just a little entertaining. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.